the great plan. We've absolutely got to stop them, Sophie cried. Put me back in your pocket quick and we'll chase them after. We'll chase after them and warn everyone in England they're coming. Ridunculous and impossible, the BFG said. They is going two times as fast as me and they is finishing their guzzle before we is halfway. But we just can't sit here doing nothing, Sophie cried. How many girls and boys are they going to eat tonight? Many, the BFG said. The flesh lump eating giant alone has a most squackingly whopsy appetite. Will he snatch them out of their beds while they're sleeping? Like peas out of a poodle, the BFG said. I can't bear to think of it, Sophie cried. Then don't, the BFG said. For years and years, I is sitting here on this very rock every night, night after night, when they is galloping away and I is feeling so sad for all the human beings they is going to gobble up. But I has had to get used to it. There is nothing I can do. If I wasn't a titchy little runty, runty giant only 24 feet high, then I would be stopping them. But that is absolutely out of the window. Do you always know where they're going? Sophie asked. Always, the BFG said. Every night they is yelling at me as they go bootling past. The other day they was yelling, we is off to Mississippi and Miss Sari to guzzle them both. Disgusting, Sophie said. I hate them. She and the big friendly giant sat quietly side by side on the blue rock in, in the gathering dusk. Sophie had never felt so hopeless in her life. After a while, she stood up and cried out. I can't stand it. Just think of those poor girls and boys who are going to be eaten alive in a few hours time. We just can't sit here and do nothing. We've got to go after those brutes. No, the BFG said. But we must, Sophie cried. Why won't you go? The BFG sighed and shook his head firmly. I has told you five or six times, he said, and the third will be the last. I is never showing myself to the human beings. Why ever not? If I do, they will be putting me in the zoo with all the jiffy raffles and the catty piddlers. Nonsense, Sophie said. And they will be sending you straight back to the orphanage, the BFG went on. Grown up human beings is not famous for their kindnesses. They is all squiffle rotters and grink sludges. That simply isn't true, Sophie cried angrily. Some of them are very kind indeed. Who? the BFG said. Name one. The Queen of England, Sophie said. You can't call her a squiffle rotter or a grunk sludger. Well, the BFG said. You can't call her a squick peep or a knot muncher either, Sophie said, getting angrier and angrier. The flesh lump eater is longing dearly to guzzle her up, the BFG said, smiling a little now. Who, the Queen? Sophie cried aghast. Yes, the BFG answered. Flesh lump eater says he is never eating a Queen, and he thinks perhaps she has an especially scrumdly umptious flavour. How dare he, Sophie cried. But Flesh Lump Eater says there is not too many soldiers around her palace and he doesn't try it. He better not, Sophie said. He is also saying he would like very much to guzzle one of the soldiers in his pretty red suit. But he is worried about those big black furry hats they is wearing. He thinks they might be sticking in his throat. I hope he chokes, Sophie said. Flesh Lump Eater is a very careful giant, the BFG said. Sophie was silent for a few moments. Then suddenly, in a voice filled with excitement, she cried out, I've got it! By golly, I think I've got it! Got what? asked the BFG. The answer! cried Sophie. We'll go to the Queen. It's a terrific idea. If I went and told the Queen about these disgusting man-eating giants, I'm sure she'd do something about it. The BFG looked down at her sadly and shook his head. She is never believing you, he said. Never in a month of Mondays. I think she would. Never, the BFG said. It is sounding such a wonky tall story. The Queen will be laughing and saying what awful rub squash. She would not. Of course she would, the BFG said. I has told you before that human beings are simply not believing in the giants. Then it's up to you, oh, sorry, it's up to us to find a way of making her believe in them, 
Sophie said. And how is you getting in to see the Queen anyway? The BFG asked. Now hold on a sec, Sophie said. Just you hold on a sec because I've got another idea. Your ideas is full of crodswoggle, the BFG said. Ah, not this one, Sophie said. You say that if we tell the Queen, she would never believe us. I is certain she wouldn't, the BFG said. But we aren't going to tell her, Sophie said excitedly. We don't have to tell her. We'll make her dream it. That is an even more froth bungling suggestion, the BFG said. Dreams is lots of fun, but nobody is believing in dreams either. You is only believing in a dream while you is actually dreaming it. But as soon as you is waking up, you is saying, oh, thank goodness, it is only a dream. Don't you worry about that part of it, Sophie said. I can fix it. Never can you fix it, the BFG said. I can. I swear I can. But first, let me ask you a very important question and here it is. Can you make a person dream absolutely anything in the world? Anything you like, the BFG said proudly. If I said I wanted to dream that I was flying in a bathtub with silver wings, could you make me dream that? I could, the BFG said. But how, Sophie said. You obviously don't have exactly that dream in your collection.